Hello everyone, my name is Dejan and today I want to tell you about my favorite tool for escaping the void. Which void, by the way, you can see over there on my left. The tool is called quantum computing. And in the next 10 minutes, I want to tell you what it is, why it is important for us and what we can expect in the future. The classical computers that we know and use nowadays, also called binary computers, have been getting smaller and more powerful for several decades. And while this might or might not continue in the future, they still cannot address the biggest challenges that we face. In order to do this, we want to build something else called a quantum computer. And here comes trouble because in the quantum world, things work very differently than for classical computers. For classical computers, bits are the smallest units of information. They can be either zero or one. Quantum computers, we use something else called the quantum bit or qubit, whose value could be zero, one, or a superposition of zero and one. And it is this superposition that is one of the quantum effects which gives quantum computers such a powerful advantage. The other effect which makes quantum computers possible is called entanglement. It is the ability of separate qubits which already store more information than their classical counterparts to work together to execute an algorithm and output a result. The differences don't stop here. While classical computers are deterministic, quantum computers are probabilistic. So to summarize so far, quantum computers are extremely powerful new form of hardware which would allow us to execute certain types of problems faster than on a classical computers. And it is these certain types of problems that I want to tell you more about because I want you to understand what is the value of this quantum speedup. One area in which this can be applied is drug discovery. And this has been a very big topic over the past year. The clinical trials for a new drug might easily take up to 10 years. And while this has a huge financial cost for the companies, it also has a social cost for the consumers who don't have access to this drug while it is still in trials. Using a quantum computer, the process of testing the drug and its effects on the human body can be simulated fully on a quantum computer. And the whole process, instead of taking years or being extremely impossible on a classical computer, can take only hours on a quantum computer. If you're looking for a different example, banks would be able to optimize their risk management using a quantum computer. That would make more capital available to, to, their, to their customers. Hedge funds would be able to optimize their portfolios because they are essentially an optimization program which can be sped up using a quantum computer. This would yield better returns for investors. Engineers would be able to make new and unthinkable materials simply because they are able to simulate matter which is made up of quantum particles. They would be able to simulate this on a quantum computer and make these calculations blazingly fast. I, as a physicist, am really excited that we'll be, answer, that we'll be able to answer some long-standing problems in cosmology by simply simulating them on a quantum computer. Now, you might ask, 
when is this going to be available, how long must we wait until we can use quantum computers. And in my opinion, uh, the answer is that they are already here. And instead of wondering how long we will have to wait, we have to realize that they are coming sooner than we think. And we have to prepare for that. On one hand, we have to make sure that enough capital and people are invested in the future of quantum computers so that we can benefit from its advantages. On the other hand, there are still a number of important milestones which have to be achieved, hurdles which have to be overcome before we can make powerful quantum computers a reality. But it's all looking extremely optimistic. In the 80s and the 90s, uh, engineers and physicists thought that it's going to be a hundred years before the first viable qubit is produced. It only took 20 years. A very important milestone demonstrating quantum supremacy, that is, demonstrating in practical terms that a quantum computer can solve a problem faster than a binary computer, was achieved by Google just a few years ago. Currently, we only have quantum computers with less than 100 qubits that can be used. As soon as we get to thousands or maybe tens of thousands of qubits, we would be at the stage where we can apply quantum computers to real-world problems which are currently prohibited by the unavailability of a computer that can solve them. It's not only Google, other companies like IBM, Microsoft are working on quantum computing at a breakneck speed. There are also tens if not hundreds of smaller companies, startups, which have invested into building software for these quantum computers. Many governments are also very interested in developing their own quantum initiatives. Very soon, being an expert in quantum computing would be a very coveted skill that would be essential for escaping the void. Thank you very much for listening to my talk and have a nice day.